We all know that the radical Arabs are working with the left. We all know that Barack Obama is allied with both the left and the radical Arabs. We all know that these radicals got their start when they were students because the left discovered years ago that they could not instigate discontent among Western workers because Western workers were happy with their economic circumstances. I'm a sneaky little bastard. You know, I, I'll do such things as such as uh, pretend to talk about the Big Bang, but what I really want to talk about is um, emotional immaturity. Basically, a bunch of cats, what like I have, uh, are uh, driven to eat, and they're driven to compete with the other cats, even though on another level they're buddies. They'll sleep with each other and groom each other and even nurse each other, even uh, cats that are not even their mother. But when it comes food time, it's every cat for itself. Um, this is a clue to uh, how the left is able to take over the world. R remember I mentioned emotional immaturity. Uh, those who are emotionally immature, which are animals and children and some adults, are driven to survive, to get, to get the goodies. The leftists can very easily control these people, these emotionally immature people, by promising goodies and by doling out the goodies. They scurry, like my cats, to the food. They're not leftists. Uh, they're not. They're not communists. They're eager for a handout. A guy named Amsterdam seventy eight left a comment on my video. Amsterdam seventy eight, and I believe it was a video I made uh, defending Sarah Palin. They couldn't stir up a revolt among the workers. Their original goal and aim was to provoke revolt among the workers. And they called themselves the Workers' Party. These communists always talked about the workers and the people. They soon realized that their best target was students. And after discovering that they could easily rouse up a student revolt in the 1960s against the Vietnam War, they focused on students in the Middle East and in Africa and in South America, Central America. Now these students of the 60s have entered the media, have entered government and politics. They have entered our educational institutions from top to bottom. They have a huge following worldwide. Your sin, your crime, is that you are satisfied, comfortable, and well off. That's your crime. Which kind of people are more easily controlled by the communist shadow party worldwide? 